Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And as you can see, I'm exploring a little bit. And honestly, this is uh, pretty cool. I just found a Serpentis Narcotics Warehouse and just look at how many signatures I still have to discover out here in Henebene, uh, which is actually surprisingly close to, um, to the Dixie. So it's actually kind of weird that I still find this many signatures over here. But let's keep the first room. Obviously, I have the pass key and uh, the topic for this video is something that was asked uh, in one of the previous videos. Can't uh, tell you which one anymore. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about what I'm looking forward to in EVE Online. And basically uh, where I think the game and maybe even the whole new Eden universe is going to evolve towards. So let's start with EVE Online. Uh, first of all we know that CCP is working on the POS code. So the, owned, uh, the code for the player owned structures. Um, I think hopefully they'll be able to make that gameplay a little bit more exciting and accessible uh, and hopefully they can also make uh, outposts in Nullsec destroyable. We know from FanFist that that is their aim and uh, I do think that I would add quite a, a bit to the excitement and uh, the real sandboxy nature of Nullsec. Um, we also know that uh, CCP is planning to do an overhaul of Nullsec mechanics uh, and that should be this year in one of the upcoming uh, releases. So I'm definitely looking forward to that as well, seeing what kind of an impact that's going to have uh, on Nullsec and uh, if they can spark like new wars and new destruction because it's been decently bland uh, in Nullsec uh, I'd say since uh, the last winter war and uh, I think it would be good to shake things up there but that should be in the planning and I'm definitely looking forward to that as well uh, it's partly for my uh, personal investments as well but um, well I think it could be good for the game in general and then uh, longer term uh, we don't actually have any idea when this is going to come out but player builds uh, Stargate and uh, the release of new systems uh, in uh, New Eden I think that would be uh, very cool. Uh, I would love to see that. Uh, on that, I do think that you'll want to join a Nelsic Alliance if you want to get into that type of content. Um, building a Stargate is going to be uh, pretty damn expensive. Uh, I think it'll be a commitment that's going to be way bigger than even building a Titan. And so only a, a major group in the game is probably going to be able to manage uh, such an endeavor. Uh, we'll need to wait and see when uh, we get stuff like dev blocks and more information on how CCP is planning to uh, go about their plan to, to allow players to build their own stargates and, and maybe access new types of space. And depending on that, yeah, perhaps I will have to make the move to uh, Nullsec to a bigger alliance just to be able to enjoy that. Uh, I think it's part of the experience at some point. Uh, I do think everyone uh, ends up giving Nullsec at least a try and maybe, maybe for new uh, player build Stargates that that's going to be uh, my uh, push in that direction. Now that's the first room done so let's open up this cargo hold. Uh, let's scoop that one back here. Let's get the salvage drones out and let's see if we can get some tick to salvage. Uh, honestly for the rest today I've been doing pretty well in uh, exploration. I've been very lucky with a nice 200 million drop in a Serpentis Vigil and I've had a very nice Serpentis Fire Outpost where I tried to make this video. Unfortunately my uh, audacity crashed during that recording. But here we go. Bring home the bacon. Unfortunately it's nothing. So let's move on to room number two. And in the meantime, uh, EVE Online, I think, is not the only thing to look forward to in New Eden. Uh, there is EVE Online Valkyrie, which uh, CCP is working on. So that's going to be much more action-packed, uh, fast-paced uh, shooter game uh, with spaceships. Uh, so it's based on the fighters. We know that it's also going to be an Oculus Rift uh, launch title. Uh, personally, I do hope that it will also be available simply on PC, that you don't need the Rift to play Valkyrie. Uh, but even if it is, maybe I'll buy the periphery, I, I don't know. That's a little bit of a wait and see concerning that. But I do think that the game has potential uh, to be fun in small spurts. Uh, the way I would personally try to incorporate Valkyrie in the EVE Online universe uh, would be to make it like a sport that Capsuleers engage in. They are immortals, uh, they don't actually care that much about dying a few times. 
uh, and especially for sport so i don't really see how you could make valkyrie a part of the current sandbox you're seeing here uh, where where players uh, build um, huge ships compared to what is being flown in valkyrie create enormous empires uh, and I don't really see how you can incorporate Valkyrie in that but if you make it like a sport in New Eden where capsuleers try to show who is the best fighter pilot uh, with stuff like uh, scoreboards, uh, rankings, uh, different fun um, game types uh, for Valkyrie I do think that there is a lot of potential for that game just quick in and outs with, uh, with a small group you can try and make this competitive uh, head more towards an, an esports facets of that if that's even feasible for a game like that uh, but uh, anyways that's how i would look uh, at uh, at valkyrie make this a form of entertainment something where really fun uh, action fast paced uh, are really the the basis of the entire game is it's what uh, what i think sh ccp should be aiming for oops and let's not uh, target that stargate like that uh, and then, yeah, I think Valkyrie could be a very fun uh, addition uh, to EVE Online. What I'm hoping, of course, is that we'll have at some point the launcher having all three games, which would be EVE Online, Valkyrie and then Legion. And that uh, you could access all games uh, with your same character. And that would be obviously how I would build Valkyrie. So your uh, EVE Online clone would decide well right now I'm going to have some fun uh, in Valkyrie show that I'm one of the best pilots in New Eden go and do a couple of matches and uh, let's grab all of this and just have uh, a very fun experience uh, that um, yeah that honestly that's something that a lot of people want uh, concerning EVE Online but it's very hard to do on the current platform with uh, one second server ticks you cannot have Twitch gameplay and so make Valkyrie fill that niche I think could be a very good move and I've already mentioned it that I would like to see a launcher with EVE Online, Valkyrie and with Legion all of them accessible through my uh, one character and then of course I'm hoping that Legion uh, can become a big success as well I think their CCP has a great opportunity if they put in the effort to make it a great and unique game that combines a lot of elements from stuff like planet side 2 with uh, really big battles and uh, epic uh, epic sized battles for for any shooter really combine that with sandbox economy such as uh, evil lines economy where you actually have to build your own tanks rather than just earn some points and then spawn them out of nowhere where you have to build your gear where maybe some form of empire building around planets can be done as well. I think that that would um, be incredibly cool for Legion, you know, if it could compete and be a little bit more sandboxy, a little bit more, um, yeah, I, I don't know, uh, that can have more staying power uh, that you feel like your actions will have consequences compared to what's happening at the moment in planet side. Um, and uh, if they could then combine that with an awesome PvE aspect, uh, I'm looking at Destiny for that. These are really the two games I feel Legion is going to have to try to compete with. Um, but if you can have a nice PvE uh, that's centered around the Rogue Drones, I mean with Rogue Drones you can escalate up to boss battles, have some co-op maps, uh, give objectives and all of that. I think uh, there's there's huge potential for legion it's it's a huge endeavor for ccp i'll grant you that they have to get it right uh, it's a lot of mechanics and a lot of content that they would have to create um, but uh, I, I, i'm that's really what i'm looking forward to is what are they going to do with legion and then my personal dream later on would be uh, that i could like transport my own legion clone on my ship go into wormhole space and then try and figure out uh, what's in those uh, in those sleeper relics uh, in, in all of those sleeper stations go in there with your uh, legion clone uh, fight off sleepers uh, fight off other people that uh, want to kill you and also want that loot and all of that good stuff i think legion actually has huge potential and can be incorporated in the eve online universe very well uh, it could be a part of our sandbox economy it could also be a part of our sandbox conquering uh, aspect you know trying to conquer districts on a planet or whatever that gives you bonuses or uh, try and build huge alliances make big fights out of that and if they can then make an exciting pve part of um, 
Uh, for Legion, yeah, I think it's got potential. I, I do admit that it's probably a very tall order. And that's 8 million, that's not so bad for CCP. But I do feel that there's a, lo a lot to uh, look forward to. And I don't think that any of this is, um, is out of bounds if you look at their own vision of where they want the new Eden universe to, uh, to head towards. And personally, I'm, I'm very excited to be just a part of that process, to be able to see that process. And in the meantime, my character here is constantly growing within the new Eden universe. I mean, he's amassing uh, more knowledge, more fortune, more goods and toys to play around with and I can I can just keep doing what I want within this sandbox and uh, honestly the elements that they are going to add here to the new Eden universe and it's not just within EVE Online with uh, player built Stargates uh, hopefully a nice post revamp um, and new systems to explore but also Valkyrie and also Legion uh, I'm looking forward to uh, where EVE Online is heading very much and i hope you are as well of course that's gonna be it for this video guys i'm going to uh, explore the rest of this system because i've got a lot of exploring to do and a lot of potential income that i don't want to lose thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time